Hey guys, I'm out here at 5340 Willow Ridge. This is in a very desirable Wiley neighborhood, super close to everything in town. This one's on a cul-de-sac lot. I actually have got a listing down that way that went under contract after only a few days on the market for list price. Let's go through here and take a look. I like the nice big wide driveway. It's a beautiful day today, so I rode my bike to work. It's got a double gate right here. And then on the other side of that gate, there's a nice big parking pad, so you could put a boat or a camper or something back there. Love the big tree in the front yard, all the landscaping. I like the fact that it's got gutters here on the front. Let's go inside and see what we can see. Um, I noticed the house is really needing to be power washed. And there's a little bird's nest forming right there. I do like the layout. You got the dining room here kitchen, master bedroom, big living room. I like the tall ceilings. I like the floor. It's a, looks like a LVP type flooring. Just throughout the house, I notice a lot of cosmetic wear and tear. So like that, that stuff up there, all that right there. Just throughout the house, there's a lot of drywall damage and dirtiness you see right here. I would I would probably want to paint this whole house or at least come in and do the touch-ups. Lots of holes in the wall, really all over the place. The kitchen is small, but it's cute. Granite countertops, stainless steel appliances. Nice little pantry. Not a whole lot of cabinet space or countertop space. But at least it's got a pantry. A little breakfast nook right here. Comes into the laundry room. So you got your washer dryer hookups and then some storage on the other side. Two car garage, average two car, nothing special. I do see a control box over there. That's for the sprinkler system in the yard. These shelvings do not look like they will stay. They're not attached or anything like that. Got a lot of, I don't know what that is. Yeah, same with the baseboards. They're all just dirty and need cleaned or maybe a fresh coat of paint. Master bedroom here, very spacious room. Huh, again, there's this right there on the top of the door. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, it's like pencil or something. Master bathroom, you got single vanity here, potty. The door just ever so barely clears the toilet there. Nice walk-in closet on this side. Soaker tub, stand-up shower. Looks like it's a fiberglass insert. Coming over here, there's a larger vanity and a larger walk-in closet. Yeah, just a lot of stuff going on with all the walls and the trim. Let's go in the backyard. So it's got a little covered patio space and then a space covered by pergola. The backyard is not very deep. You can see here, there's maybe 10 feet between the house and the back fence. It's, but since it's on the cul-de-sac lot, it does have some width. Let's go and check out over here. So there's some decent space over here. Another great big tree. Not a whole lot of grass space. So if you had like a German Shepherd or a big dog, probably wouldn't be an ideal yard for them. Well, if you got a little Chihuahua or Yorkie or something, this would be perfect. 
love the landscaping all the way around the house. House needs a little TLC, but overall it looks pretty nice. Again, you can see how just dirty this siding is. Yeah, you know, just, I mean, hit with a power washer, you'd be good to go. I mean, it looks like they had some kind of dog or something trying to scratch through there. Yeah, literally every wall has got holes or drywall anchors or more big holes in the drywall. Decent sized bedrooms. Check out the closet. Oh, nice walk-in closet. I like the plantation shutters on the front. This one has a regular closet. Hall bath, original shower, tub combo, fiberglass, original vanity, potty. And then this hall closet here, and then it says, do not open this room. The room is the same as the next bedroom. And there's a cat in there. So I'm not gonna open that, but you can just see a lot of drywall issues throughout the house. But other than the minor cosmetic issues, I don't really see anything major wrong with the house. I do like the layout. I like the neighborhood. But uh, that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.